This is Universe Journey. It's 2424. Humanity has left our planet for the first time, seeking out new races and places. The intrepid crew of the starship ASS Thrifty boldly go where a few people have gone before. Space! I am in you! Tonight's episode, God-Man. Captain Richard R. Kake, one of the youngest, brightest stars of the fleet, has just earned his first command. Admiral Jameson escorts him to it. There she is, son, the ASS Thrifty. Wow, boy, she is hot. It's a metal ship. How can metal be hot? Thank you, Admiral Jameson. No need to thank me, Captain Kake. You've earned it. Woo, look at those lines. It must be the best ship in the fleet. No. Uh, the fastest? No. The biggest? Not by a long shot. Well, she's mine, and that's all that matters. Yes, you being the one to lead this crew far, far away from us here on Earth is definitely all that matters. I intend to make my mark with her and on her. That's disgusting. Why are you ready to meet your crew? Do the green-throated whores of Percy Alpha of Seven give the best blowies? I have no idea. Yes, yes, I'm ready to meet the crew. Thrifty crew, this is your new captain, Richard T. Kake. Kake, this is your crew. Bye-bye. Boy, was he in a hurry or what? <clears throat> so, uh, since this is like the first day of school here, I mean, why don't we go around the room and introduce ourselves, say your name, where you're from, and one interesting fact about you. I'll start. I'm Ratcher G. Kake, and I'm from a beautiful little hamlet known as Buffalo, New York. A fun fact is that I am, objectively speaking, the handsomest captain in the fleet. Who's next? <sighs> I am Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow, and I'm from the planet... <coughs> and I am the science officer. And a fun fact about me is that I'm not evil. But did someone accuse you of being evil? Mm, not lately. Seems like a strange thing to bring up, and your voice sounds a little sinister to me. Tell me the truth. Were you lying before, and are you actually, in fact, evil? No, and I resent your racist implications. Not all reptilian beings are evil. Um, sorry, I guess. Okay, who's next, then? Whoop, 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 whoop. Chief Engineer Foley here, sir. I'm from Ireland, land of the leprechauns. Yes, yes, we're all familiar with Scotland, engineer. Why aren't you down in the engine room? I like the view from up here. All right. Uh, how about you, gorgeous? What's your name? I'm Lieutenant Takalati. Takalati, huh? I bet there's a beautiful story behind that name. Is it African? No. <laughs> and where are you from, Lieutenant? Heaven? <laughs> Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Hey, Landlord Dick! How you been, you old son of a gun? Oh. Gary! Gary Marshall, my best friend that I haven't seen in eight years. I've been awesome. Got my own ship now. How are you? I'm great. Happy days like New Year's Eve or Valentine's Day. 
Dear God, I'm the executive officer of a starsheet. Really? Which one? The ASS Hertz? No, the Thrifty. She's a pretty woman. Why, that's my ship. I know, hence why I'm here, Dick Van Dyke. So my best friend is my exo? <laughs> that's fantastic! It's going to be just like college. Planet hopping, get it wasted, picking up alien women, it'll be a blast. I'm looking forward to it. We'll be the odd couple. That'd make a heck of a show. And I can do several spin-offs featuring the aliens we meet, like Blansky's Beauties. Nanu Nanu! Right, so, how do we start this thing? Oh, I'm also the pilot. Where do you want to go, Angie? Second star to the right and straight on till morning. I wouldn't recommend that, sir. Why not? That would take us right into the middle of a supernova. Okay. Third star to the right? A perfect exit to Eden. Setting course now. Ah, uh, Captain, perhaps we what should... What is it now? Uh, never mind. Okay, go. We've arrived, Mork and Mindy. Where we arrived, Gary? I don't know, Flamingo Kid. I just drive. This is planet Undostres 4. It is an uninhabited planet at the very edge of charted territory. Like the very edge? Already? That was faster than I got the dress of that date at the fifth grade dance. <laughs> Ugh. The fleet has actually explored quite far from Earth in most directions, but not this one. Well, that's strange. Is there a reason we shouldn't have gone this way? Not that I can think of. I believe it's just what you humans refer to as a blind spot. There are definitely no dangerous non-corporeal godlike beings down here that my people have known about and avoided for centuries. That's oddly specific. Is that a racist jibe, sir? I know my people may appear odd to your human sensibilities, but... No, 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 it wasn't. Not racist. Not racist. There are no life signs on the planet, Captain. Perfect. Let's go down there. Uh, who? Us. Who? Us. You mean Gary. And who? I don't see what you're getting at, Lieutenant Commander. Don't go overboard, Captain Meow Meow Memes, Lieutenant Who Grappa, our security chief. Oh, nah, I think we're good. It's uninhabited, right? Who needs security on a desert planet? I think who would be more comfortable going along. Oh, too bad. Actually, sir, Regulation 314.2C states... regulations? You come and meow, meow, meow? <laughs> it's meow, meow. I have green, scaly skin. I resemble an Earth Velociraptor far more than a common household feline. Who's watching the kids? Foley, you're in charge. Keep a channel open. Uh, you come and leave me, isn't <sighs> Yes. <laughs> Ah, oh, smell that, boys? I detect a slight sulfurous odor. No, I mean smell it. We're probably the first living beings to ever smell this place. And now I've added my beans of Boston to the mix. <laughs> oh, oh, darn it, Gary. <laughs> I wanted to be the first one to fart on an alien world. Sorry, Captain Mean Jeans. Uh, the sulfur content has increased noticeably. Oh, it'll fade. So where should we explore first? So how about over there? Ooh, 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 how about over there? Oh, no, 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 how about maybe over there? Anywhere's fine with me, Laverne and Shirley. I've got my flask. It'll all look the same in a few minutes. <laughs> nice. You know, I wish I'd brought a flask. What? Regulation 62F.32 states that no alcohol should Lighten ever... Lighten up, Mukey Mew. It's just booze. All right, here's the plan. We're going to split up. Lots to do. We'll meet back here in about, say, five minutes. That doesn't seem like enough time to really see oh, anything. Oh, nice. Those rocks over there look like booze. Ooh, I like the lights in that direction, like the twilight of the gold. <laughs> okay, crew, back to the ship. I should definitely have used the bathroom before flying down. <sighs> Gary, you coming? Sir, Commander Marshall looks a little strange. Oh, he's just a little drunk. Minu, let's go. That was quick, sir. Yes, it was. Just a moment.
Sir, who would like a word with you? Who? Yes. Oh, you who? Captain, security must go mission. Sorry, who? It was just a quick look around a deserted planet. Nothing to worry about. Now let's go back down. What, what's that? Are we moving? Commander Marshall has just taken us to top speed, heading for the edge of the galaxy. Well, Gary, what's the meaning of this? I'm sorry, Captain. You're not in charge anymore. Me and the chimp are. The hell I'm not. Turn this ship around right this instant. I'm afraid I can't do that, Captain. Gary, it's me, Dick. What are you doing? Gary isn't here anymore, Captain Kake. You're freaking me out here, Gare. Are you feeling all right? This is the best I've ever felt. Love American style. That's not what the Remax women of Planet Beta would say, I'm sure. Come, <laughs> the ship cannot take the speed for long. Gary, did you eat mushrooms while we were down on the surface? Surely you must be smarter than to stick some strange things in your mouth. We're gonna break apart! Fine, fine, fully shut off the engine. <laughs> Turn the engine back on, evil Roy Slade. I'm sorry, Gary. You don't give the orders. Who? Toss him in a cell. He can sleep off his buzz. Come with who? No thank you, Sheriff Who. Come with who? (coughs) Wow. Who is not a small guy? How did you throw him like that? Turn the engines back on or else. Or else what? Or else make room for daddy, I begin killing the crew. Joke's on you, I haven't been here long enough to know any of them anyway. Then I will start smashing your shot glass collection. You wouldn't dare. You bought half the glasses in it. Shh! Uh, how are you doing that? My apartment's downstairs in the ship. Shh! Oh, all right, all right, please, dear lord, stop. Are you going to turn the engines back on, Joey Bishop? Were you telling me where you're taking us? All right, all right, fully. Turn the engines back on. I cannot do it, sir. After an emergency shutdown, they need at least an hour to reboot. I cannot stay on this ship barefoot in the park for another hour. Gary, speak to me. What's happening? I am not Gary. I spy Zucifer, a being you puny humans would consider a god. I hitched a ride off the planet, and I've been trapped in this form you call Gary. Captain, I detect a large energy buildup in this room. Correct. This gomer pile is not large enough to hold my true form for very long. I was just planning to stay in Gary long enough to get to top Lysia 1. The party planet. Right, where I would leave this form like I left the Lucy show. But I cannot wait an hour, so I guess you're all going to die now. Minama, how far are we from the planet we just left by shuttle? About 50 minutes, sir. Yeah, whatever your name was. Can you hold it together until we get you back home? Maybe. Great. Gary and I are taking a shuttle back to the planet. Mini, you're in charge. Follow us when you get the engine started. Come. I don't think that's it's wise. It's fine. Sounds like a plan. But if the energy being erupts while trapped in the shuttle with you, Captain? Then I will be the shortest serving captain in history. And Minama will be the first alien captain in the fleet. I would remind you how racist it is that there are no alien captains. Or even that you're calling me an alien. But your logic seems sound. Goodbye, Captain. It was an, uh, pleasure serving under you. You're going to come pick me and Gary up in an hour. If you survive. But if you don't, it was nice to meet you. Take care. You will pick us up. Sure, sure. Or make sure he does, Captain. Thanks, Foley. Come on, Gary. (laughs) (sighs) We made it. Barely. Dominic's dream, I'm about to explode. Well, don't do it on me. Wait, you're going to exit Gary right now? No. You can't leave his body? I can, I just don't want to. If I did, there'd be someone left behind, the other sister, if you will, to warn the crew that I'd taken over your body, and then I'd never get the top Lysia one. Wait, what? You thought I'd just give up after one failed Wednesday night out? Well, yeah. This is why humans suck. Nothing in common. So cocky. Yes? Yes, you're cocky. No, it's, it's pronounced cocky. <laughs> That's not cocky. what I... Dick? Never mind. Come back. Runaway bride! 
can't take more. Jody loves Chachi. <laughs> <coughs> Gary, no. <laughs> oh, have oh. Gary guts on me and in my mouth a little. Oh, God, Energy Cloud, don't come over here. No, no, stay away. Stay away. Oh, even it. Get, get away from my butt. There you go. No, no, even it. Ah, oh, ooh, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, I got it. Ooh, even it. Even it. Ooh, take that cloud of. Yeah, damn it. Damn it. I mean, uh, 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 oh. Thank God that thing was trying to anally rape me. I think. Wait a second. We have we have transporters. Why have we why have we been using the shuttles? Oh, shuttles are cheaper, and we call them beamers, sir, not transporters. That term would be copyright infringement. I don't care what they're called. Get us out of here. Oh, yes, sir. Wait. How do we know you're really Captain Cocke and not Zucifer in Captain Cocke's body? Um, I don't know. Ask me something that only I would know. I. Don't know you well enough for that, sir. Then I guess I'll just have to take my word for it. <sighs> oh, is he all right? I don't know yet. We haven't picked up our doctor. Ah, yes. Okay, we should probably go do that. And what planet is our doctor on? Earth. Why didn't she just get on board when I did? Well, she was about to, but you were in such a hurry to leave, we left her behind. Oh, well, good lord, man, why didn't you say anything? I started to, but you were so excited. You know, an evil man might have purposely left without a doctor in the hopes that his captain would be injured and he could take command. That is true, sir. But, as I've said, I'm not evil, nor am I a man. Right. Shall I set a course for Earth, sir? Yeah, fully go. Captain's Diary, or as Gary would say, the Princess Diaries. September 8th, 2424. I lost my best friend today, the man I trust and love most in this world. And also several of my favorite shot glasses, including the awesome one with the dancing needle brilliance on it. Neither loss, though, will be easy to bear, but at least I think I have a brave crew under me now, and that helps. Except for Lieutenant Commander Mean... whatever his name is. He's definitely evil. So, this is the tale of our noble crew. They're here for a long, long time. With phones and lights and hover cars, really all the luxuries. Unlike Robinson Crusoe, it's not primitive at all. Join us here next month, my friends, when the crew returns to find a doctor on another universe journey. It's all been done, Radio Hour, Episode 1. Universe Journey, Godman. Starring Nick Argenbright as Captain Richard Cockay. Joe Morales as Commander Gary Marshall. Shane Stefanchik as Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow. Seamus Talty as Chief Engineer Foley. Katie Boisenault as Lieutenant Takalati. Chase McCants as Lieutenant Hu Grappa. Keith Jackson as Emerald Jameson. And narrated by Chris Allen. Check out our website at www.itsallbeendoneradiohour.com. Follow us on Twitter at IABD Radio Hour and like us on Facebook. Oh. This. Sorry, that's my line. <laughs> I'm sorry.